Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching the Neolimix Introduction Pack. We're on the second block of basic training. Last time was a bit of a tough day, even for basic training. But maybe we will improve our prospects somewhat today with a sudden change in direction. 30 Lemmings must save 28, and I believe this is a Lemmings Chronicles tile set, or all new world of Lemmings for all you Euro fans out there. What does a sudden change of direction entail? Blockers can be used to turn around other skills. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Placing a blocker right in front of an ongoing builder or miner, for example, turns the working lemming around, and he will continue building slash mining. We saw that in Mayhem in the original lemmings, down along up, in that order. Even diggers can be turned around by placing a blocker in front of them. This has the advantage of also releasing the blocker again. Uh, wait, even diggers can be turned around by placing a blocker in front of them. This has the advantage of also releasing the blocker again the next time the digger digs downward. Really? Like, if I dig to the right and I put a blocker in there, he'll go to the left? That's... Aw, uh, is that what I'm... Is that what I'm getting off of this? Okay, let's try it. Okay, so we go... We go from here and we're trying to get to... Alright, we have three blockers. Okay, what is... What counts as steel here, first of all? This is a new tile set, so we need to see what counts as steel. Pretty much in here, all around in this. Okay, very good. Okay, so... I think the idea with the turning the digger around is you would get up to here. Block at the end, maybe. Um, or something like that? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try to understand what it's telling me. Okay, so we're gonna go up here... If some lemmings get past, that's fine, because we have this going. So we want to go about six steps. One, okay, two, three, four, five, six, okay, and then set a blocker out on the way in. No, I didn't want him to go through it, that's not the idea. Two, right out there, there we go, yes, that is what we're going for. So that's the uh, that's the old the old hole down along up in that order trick. So we're gonna do the same thing here. All right. So this is why we end up saving twenty eight lemmings because we're gonna do the same thing. With this guy is dead now, uh, he or just eternity of blocking, and then we're gonna go here, go down into here, and we're going to block at a point that makes it so that he turns around. Okay. Got it. Probably to about here-ish. But he's going to have to get way out past that miner. That's not that hard to do. Uh, let's see what kind of crowd work we got going here. Alright, so now... There we go. And so I think that's going to send him... I think that's going to be... Fine. As long as that's fine, we've got the whole... We've got the first half of the level, the top half, sorted out. Okay, yeah, not too bad. He's going to make it just fine. So now we got to figure out what this whole... Okay, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two... All right, so let me see if I'm understanding correctly here. I think what I'm going to do is end up digging at the edge. I think that's the idea here. Okay, yeah, send one from, like, way back here. Alright, so what happens then is he digs or something like that. Like, at the edge. And then the blocker... The blocker comes in. Okay, let's go frame before... Okay, and I think... Yeah, that turns the dig around. Okay, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that is super weird. Super cool, but super weird. Okay, that's definitely one I'm going to try filing away for later. Okay, and then we're going to bash through here and we're going to save everybody. Oh, man! <laughs> what a cool level. Okay, I really enjoyed that a lot. So, I'm going to remember the sudden change trick. Um, we're... Getting to about the point, I think, where we're going to be combining some of the things we've learned into a potpourri level. So, 
I'm thinking Digger Basher Bridge. Oh, and we got to nuke them. That's right. Unfortunately, there we must involve pyrotechnics to a small extent. We must use them. It is a fact of life. Sometimes lemmings just have to be exploded. It is what it is, as they say. Kind of a terrible phrase, honestly. I'm trying to work it out of my vocabulary, but... Turns out the darn thing is just useful in too many circumstances. So next level is Concentrated Force. Gotta, gotta, this looks like, is this Turrican? <laughs> this is, uh, this is kind of cool. Concentrated Force, 50 lemmings, must save 44. What does Concentrated Force mean? You've already increased the release rate to get more lemmings past unavoidable traps, but now let's turn down the casualties even more. Try to get the lemmings as tight tightly together as much as possible using blockers for example this is another classic lemmings trick from compression method one and then release the concentrated horde at the right time this way each trap will only get a single lemming instead of multiple ones now compress and conquer compression method one uh whoa that was some that was some ugliness okay so we're gonna go ahead and move okay this is gonna be a quick level all right, so first of all, as soon as you drop, there we go. All right, and we're gonna make this super tight. There we go. And then we're gonna bop up the release rate. Okay, so you're gonna die. Well, should you die? So that's, okay, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this one out. Cause there's more to it than meets the eye. Because once we blow this guy up, we're going to blow him up. And then they're going to go through. So that's, okay, 40, okay, 48, 44. Okay, I think 1, 47, 46, 45, 44. Okay, so we save 44 lemmings, but here's 44 over here. Okay. All right. Something is, something is up here then. We need to... We need to send them through with the basher. So, we're still talking release rate here. Alright, this is gonna get... This is gonna get a little shenanigan-y. So... Okay. How are we gonna do this, then? Do we want to press a lot of them to get... Okay. When do we compress, though? Okay, so we're missing... One vital skill. We have to say 44 living, not 43. 43 would make this too easy. So there's a little bit to it that makes it... Okay, first of all, let's get this hatch open. Which is like the ugliest animation I've ever seen. And then, okay, I think we do want to make a lemming... We do want to get a lemming bashing for sure. Um... Okay... Maybe what we want to do is... Okay, yeah. Go ahead and start going. Okay, and then 99. So... Alright, so we're just going to send out a crowd. Yeah, but then how does that work? We got to preserve... We got to somehow preserve the basher, which is... An odd bit of business. Um, yeah, they're not compressed enough at this rate to make it work. Okay, so maybe what we need to do is have it all happen. Okay, I think I see. I think I see it. I think we need to make. I think we need to make the concentration happen first. So mm, no, not quite yet. Okay, so go ahead, and then they're concentrated together. There we go. Okay. Now let's get them all out. Now we have a big crowd. Alright, so how is this going to work out? Will this work? If this doesn't work... If I don't do this in just... Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that is super compressed. So 49 and 44. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think that still kills too many lemmings. What is the vital step that I'm missing here? Okay, so that's going to happen. 
Okay, 48, 47, 46. Yeah, 45, 44, and then we still have the, the one guy left. Okay, so we've made it. Maybe we need to make our crowd a little bigger. Maybe, maybe that doesn't need to be as tight as I think. Okay, so we're going to make it... We're going to make the crowd a little thicker. That might help with the with this whole sequence. We might have to expand this out. Okay. They still, I think, all fit on one trap trigger. So go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we've got a little bit more of a... More of a group now. I think what's important is that this basher falls in with one of the other groups. Yeah, because still the same thing is going to happen here. We've still got... Oh, yeah, and that's an even bigger problem. Now we're even just killing even more lemmings. Okay, I need to take a second and see what I'm doing wrong here. Some lemmings are yipping, but not enough of them. I need to take a moment and see what I'm missing here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop a lemming here. We're going to let the second one walk around for a second. And then when the third one comes out, it's going to block up against the wall. And we're going to raise the release rate to 99. Okay, then we're going to let him sit around for a minute. Then we're going to start him bashing once everybody is out. Maybe I could have even made this crowd a little thinner for this purpose, but I'm going to see if this... I'm going to see if this works. So we're going to go from here. And now I have to release them at a time... When they're going to walk forward and kind of hide out with him. I'm going to try from about halfway. So they're going to go here. I don't want any of them to turn around. Okay, that was a little too early. But I think I have the basic idea. So a little more than halfway maybe. There we go. They'll make it to the wall. Hopefully. Okay. No, he still has to kind of hide out with them. That is a fast trap. Holy moly. Okay, so... Okay, but I think I might have it right in terms of, like... In terms of, like, actual separation here. Okay, so... You go here. And then the next one needs to be as close to the... Okay, yeah, so let's get that tight crowd going again. All right. So now once they're all out, we want them to meet up with him right about as the bash is ending. Okay, so yeah, so you can go now. They're all out. And I think probably about halfway for here is good on this one. I think I was a little early, but I just want to kind of get a benchmark going. Okay, yeah, he needs to be really close. That is a fast trap. Okay, so, but I think I've kind of got the idea here. Okay, so you catch up to him. It's got to be before, it's like a real frame perfect kind of thing. Okay. Okay. So I might have to just edit out to, okay, he's going to get killed. One. Okay. And then 47. Okay, now, okay, he was close enough, I think to the crowd there we go okay and now i can afford to nuke this one okay it's just that kind of that kind of mind game okay so now we can leave now we can leave the amiga world behind here nice little nice little homage to turk in there i believe that was and we can move on that was that was a bit of a tough one but there was a little more to it than met the eye but it wasn't it wasn't bad, it just required real specific. Now, that's one case. I know some people complain about untimed bombers or instant bombers, but that's one case where it's really like if you also had to factor in a detonation count, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine how much harder it would have been. Blocked in your favor. 40 lemmings must save 32. This might be... This might be potpourri time, because I see this whole thing going on here where we're going to have to... Well, no, why would we make a staircase right here? I guess maybe there's a... Okay, you might need some assistance here. This level includes three central tricks you learned. 
turning around a miner with a blocker, turning around a digger with a blocker, and containing the crowd in a tight space so that your losses to traps are minimal. It is a potpourri level. I thought we were kind of getting up on time for one of those, but we still got a little exposition before it anyway. I prepared a spot right before the traps for the containment trick. Good luck. So let's see what that could be. Uh, that could be... Okay, so I see here we're going to be... Uh, digging and blocking. Everybody is trapped in right here. Where is the containment spot before the trap? First of all, I guess we need to see where the traps are. Um, we've got our pickup stuff here. Okay. Um, let's just kind of roll with this one for now. I don't want to... Uh, oh yeah, I have my clear physics mode on. I was like, I need to turn that off probably. Okay, so... We want to get in here. This is all steel, correct? Yes. So, and is the exit locked or is this just a button or what's going on with this? I'm not familiar with this tile set really. So, okay. So that's the bomber. Okay. So got to pick that up. All right. We can only, we have 32 lemmings to be killed. All right. So what I'm going to do probably is start digging with him at we got another real kind of coloration problem here this is really okay i'm gonna have to see how they walk over this okay yeah there's a bit of a hump there i kind of imagined but okay what happens then okay so we need to i think we need to get him digging he's gonna face to the right and then uh Okay. There we go. I think that got him turned around. Hopefully it did. Oh, no. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But I think the one that needed to survive survived. So we're going to bash through here. I think when we get to the... I think when we get down past the steel... Yeah, he's going to be facing left. Okay. That's a tough trick to be confident in. But it is a, it is a fun one, though. So we're going to be... Okay, we're going to need... How many blockers... What did we just get? Three builders? Okay. So we're going to have to mine. We're going to have one miner who goes down and does all this. Okay. And then we have a whole containment thing that we need to do. Okay. And I think this is the containment spot right here. Okay. So I think what we can do then... All right, he's going to float down, and we got to build three exact bridges to... No, that's too close. Got to get it right on so he doesn't turn around. There we go. One. Two. And three. And then I see the containment spot provided. Okay, what are we, what are we up against here? There we go. This is a really hard tile set to see for my old man eyes. Gotta say. Okay, so we're gonna be using a blocker here and a bomber. Okay, so this is where the one bomber goes off. Got it. So we're gonna be putting you roughly right here. Okay, that's good. So now we can work this. So two, two blockers. We've gotta go bop, bop, bop. Okay, so we gotta go bop. So we gotta come from this end first. So we're gonna mine from here. All right. And once he gets low enough, uh, get him right, get him right comfy on the edge. There we go. Okay, very good. Okay, that couldn't have gone more perfectly, honestly. So now we're going to get to the edge of here. So now we need to make that happen. Okay, I think right here is about where we want for that. There we go. Perfect. And he's going to get down there. I think that's going to be right in the opening. I think we did that pretty much perfectly. 39 lemmings. We have to save 32, but I think... Oh, please. Okay, thank goodness. Woo! Woo! That was a close shave. Okay. So now, once everybody gets in here... Yeah, okay. Pretty easy level. Pretty easy level once you... It, it was easier given the context of the things that I had done beforehand. But... Like, it was still kind of like a hard level, you know? 
Okay, so we're gonna blow you up now. That should preserve enough lemmings. 37, 36. Okay, so 35, 34. That means 32 get in, these two die. We're saving exactly 32. Okay, very nice. Okay, well done. So we go and blow you up now. And I need to... I need to check and see how long the runtime has been going. I think this is only the second level we've done. But I kind of lost track of things while trying to figure that out. I think we can fit in some more levels. At least one. Give me just a second. Actually, no. That's probably a good place to stop. Uh, running up on that 20 minute mark. Which is kind of a sweet spot for me. So we'll stop there. We won't, we won't tempt fate. And we will return next time. And do some more basic training. Basic training is still going on. It's got about, I think there's about six more levels of it left, if I remember correctly.